Hi and welcome back. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how we can perform CRUD operations using Prisma. In this tutorial, we will use that knowledge to start building our Studio List application. For this tutorial, we're just gonna build a list view and in the future tutorials, we're gonna add, delete and create features. Go with Sloba. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to do some cleanup from the previous tutorial. So let's go to the Prisma page and let's comment this update and delete task because we are updating and deleting the record that doesn't exist. But what we can do is we can uncomment the action that is creating new records in case we want to add new tasks to our list. Now let's save this and let's check our page. So now we get the list and if we refresh, we get the new items. Now let's start adding components for our to-do list page. So we can close this page and we can close the app and inside of the components folder, we're gonna create three new items. We're gonna add three components. The first one is gonna be component for creating new tasks. The second one is gonna be a to-do list and the third is gonna be a delete form where we're gonna remove the items. So let's add a first component and let's name it as delete form.jsx. Let's add, or actually let's create a component here, RAFCE quickly. And it's gonna use the name obviously from the uh, file name. So let's save this. Let's create a new one and let's name this one as to do form.jsx. Here, once again, let's create quickly a function. Let's save it. And once again, let's add the last one and this is to do's.jsx. So this one actually is gonna render the list that we are having inside of our database. So let's once again create the function rfce to do like so now let's open our to-do list page we can close the prisma and let's go to to-do list and inside of the page we can import the components that we have created so let's remove this text and let me close the explorer here we can add some maximum width to our container so let's add a class name and for this one let's use max width of lg and inside of this list Let's add a to-do form and make sure to import if the auto import doesn't work. So import to-do form from at components for slash to-do form like this. And the second one is gonna be to-dos, to-dos. And once again, we can actually copy paste this first line from the import. And this one is gonna be to-dos from to-dos. Now we can save this and let's see what we got in our page. So as we can see here, we have this to-do form and to-dos. Nice. Now what we can do is we can start and implementing our to-do list. So let's head over to our to-do here, to-dos, and let's start implementing this component. We can close this. And the first thing that we want inside of our component, we want to fetch the data from our database. In the previous tutorials, we have seen how we can do that using Prisma. So first we need to make this as asynchronous component. And now we can use Prisma to fetch the data that we have in our database. So let's call the Prisma and make sure to import the Prisma from utils for slash DB. And we learned this one. So we're gonna call the task name trace and we're gonna use find many method here. But here we can provide, as we discussed in the previous tutorials, if we want to order by uh, different arguments. So let's order by and in this case, we can order by create it at property and we can send a parameter of descending like this. And we're gonna await for this to complete and store that in a new variable. And let's name this variable as const tasks. Now let's first check if we return anything in this tasks array. If we don't, we wanna show a message. So if tasks.length is equal to zero. So if this array is empty, if we don't have any task, we wanna show to user that there is no tasks to show. So let's return, let's say H2, and we wanna add a class name. So let's say that we wanna add margin on top so that we have some separation on top and a font medium like so. And let's enlarge the text. So let's add text dash LG. And for the text itself, we wanna say something like no tasks to show dot, dot, dot like this, okay? And if we have the tasks, we wanna loop through them here below. So let's remove this div and I wanna create an ordered list here. And inside of the unordered list, we just wanna loop to our tasks. So let's call the tasks.map. 
and inside of this map we can access the items of the tasks and we can call them as a task and inside of this we want to return an li element and as any other child element of the map we need to provide a key and for this one let's use task.id also make sure that this is in the same line as in return because in this case it's not going to return nothing inside of our li element we want to add a text of our task and we want to add a couple of actions such as edit and delete form edit is just going to be a link to an edit form but for now let's add a title so here we can create a new element and we can use h2 and for this h2 let's add some classes so let's add text dash lg and let's capitalize it and now what i want to do is i want to dynamically check if this task is finished or not if it is we want to just show a strike through line how we can do this is we can actually add the curly braces here and we can convert this to string expression so we can remove these double quotes and here we want to check if the task is completed so task.completed if it is we want to return new class and the name of this class is line dash through so to mark the text as a completed otherwise return nothing so return null basically and inside of the h2 we just want to return the name of the task and the name of this property is task.content like so let's save this and let's preview so now if you go to our studio list we can see something similar to what we had on the prisma but now let's add some styles and let's add a couple of actions to this next to our h2 or the text i want to add a div so let's add a div and inside of this div we're going to have an action items so the first one is going to be the link and we're going to create this link afterwards but for now let's just use in hard code the path so it's going to be to do's and actually let's make this as a string literal as well so let's add a curly braces and let's remove the double quotes here because we want to use the id for the dynamic route so let's use the forward slash and then let's access the task dot id and let's convert this link to a button so let's add a class name and for the class name let's add button button dash accent and btn dash xs so it's small and for the text we can just say edit like this and after this link we can add delete form delete form and for now this is just going to be a text but in the future tutorials we're going to implement this form and what we're going to need in this form we're going to need the id of the task that we want to delete so task.id and let's just import the link on top here so let's import link from next link and let's save this and let's see what we have and now if you refresh our page we can see that we have added this edit button and we have added this delete form but i want this to be as a box and inline so let's add some styles first i want to add some classes to our li or the container so here let's add a class name and for the first class i want to make this as a flex and i want to justify the content in between so the text on the left side and the actions on the right side let's center them so use items dash center and then i want to add some padding on the left and the right so px dash six and i want to add some padding on top and on the bottom py dash four let's add some margin on the bottom so margin bottom dash four i want to add a border here so let's add class of border let's add a border dash base dash 300 so we want to add this color and let's make it as rounded dash lg and let's add some shadow so shadow dash lg like so and now let's just add some classes to our container of our actions so in div after the h2 let's add a class name and let's add a class of flex once again and i want to add a gap in between these items so gap dash six and i just want to center this item so items dash center like this now let's save this and let's head over to our browser and if you check our page now we can see that actually we now have this nice boxes we have this shadow we have these rounded corners with the border and we have this edit if you click on this edit we're gonna get 404 because we haven't created this page yet but as you can see the url is correct so if we turn back we have this delete form we're going to build this in the next tutorials and we have this to do form where we're going to add input and the action to add new items so let's go to our prisma studio and just to test if these classes for completing this task works so if you go to our prisma studio and let's check the, all the tasks so let's say for the first one we want to change from false to true 
so that this actually is completed. So let's make it as true and save one change. And now let's go and refresh our page here. And if we scroll a little bit down to find this item, we can see that actually this task has been completed and that we have the style that we wanted here. And this is all for this tutorial. In the following tutorials, we're gonna implement this edit, we're gonna implement this delete, and also adding new items to the list. So see you in the next tutorial. And if you wanna support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.